What is going on YouTube? Hayden back making another brand new crypto TV episode. In today's video, we have to talk about the recent swing back to the upside that has actually stopped us out of one trade in particular on Bitcoin here, which is where we had just two days ago confirmed a correction to the downside here, breaking below our sideways channel. And yet again, here we are back inside of it as annoying as it is. It is something we do have to go over and we do have to look at. However, other cryptocurrencies we haven't gotten stopped out of just yet, so we are still in it for some trades, which is definitely exciting if you ask me. But overall, we are going to be looking at Solana here, XRP, as well as Ethereum, Bitcoin, and then the S&P 500. Overall, markets aren't doing too bad. We are starting our descent to the downside here, which was expected. And obviously, as we start to dip lower, there will be times where we do pull back to the upside, which is what we're kind of seeing today. And as you can tell, I am back in the normal studio and I wasn't able to make a video yesterday because of an early flight and unpacking and getting ready. So we're gonna be back on track as of today, which is exciting. So definitely make sure in that case to smash the like button, turn on post notifications, subscribe. Let's jump right into today's episode. So guys, as you can see right here, BidFi is offering a special event for Valentine's Day. I believe it ends in a couple of days or the end of February here. But for those that aren't uh, subscribed to the channel or haven't signed up for BidFi already, if you invite your friends to BidFi, you'll be able to uh, enter a $10,000 USDT prize pool and share it among your friends and there will are other giveaways and events and um, bonuses that I'll talk about on BidFi a little bit later on in today's episode. But with that being said, diving into the technical analysis yesterday or two days ago, we pretty much were highlighting the fact that markets are starting to consolidate. Lots of these cryptocurrencies are hitting kind of a, a peak here, a top, uh, a ceiling, and we're probably going to start to see correction within the next couple of days here. And you can see with that in sight here, we had a double top drawn out on, I believe this was... Was it XRP? No, it was Solana here where the double top actually formed. And then we are starting to slide lower here. We then saw on Bitcoin, a sideways channel forming, pretty much saying any day now, uh, we're going to have to make some sort of decision. And that was to the downside. And pretty much two days ago, we confirmed that by falling below some major support levels. But what goes up must come down. And now we're starting to consolidate. And obviously, we're not just going to take the, you know, the escalator straight to the or the uh, elevator straight to the downside. We are going to take the escalator and it is going to be kind of a stair stepping sloping pattern, which we do have to go over in a minute. But as you can see, top 10 crypto still floating at 1.98 trillion volume is leaving some cryptos and floating into the others ethereum's up nine percent for the week which is nuts same thing with bnb and that's you know to be expected typically when we see these altcoins cardano avalanche xrp solana like a lot of these cryptocurrencies money doesn't necessarily leave the the crypto space which is what we're seeing because the market's still at 1.98 trillion what it's doing is it it's leaving those uh altcoins here and it's going into major cryptocurrencies like ethereum and bnb typically because majority of trading is on binance a majority of the world is using binance which is why they're using bnb as their coin of preference and then also ethereum another crypto that when money is typically it's tethered to ethereum so if you sell out of avalanche or some of these other cryptos uh you could go right back into ethereum here and that's typically why we're seeing these cryptos start to swing up with all the other cryptos diving down money then moves not out of the out of you know the exchange not off exchanges but into uh kind of these stability coins these major altcoins for reference here. But moving on to these cryptos, looking at XRP to start, and then we'll dive forward. You can see we are starting to slide lower. Now, at any point in, you know, the videos moving forward here, and it is so bright, but uh, at, at any point moving forward in these videos, if you're focusing on XRP, uh, it pretty much goes without saying. I won't have to reference it, but it'll be pretty much at the night time. Um, we do have a massive bull flag forming here, and you can see beautiful uptrend with this lower high, lower low pattern uh, filling us to the downside here and just recently we came finally back up outside we had a you know beautiful opportunity to long this to resistance here our price target which we hit uh, and we called because we were tracking a beautiful descending triangle on xrp's relative strength indicator and the second we saw this break above our yellow resistance that's when we bought in and longed to the upside here but moving forward you can see within this lower high, lower low pattern, we rejected with a beautiful reversal doji forming right here. And that caused markets to dip lower where we entered a short. And we've been in a short here. We are still in a short here. There is a chance we could wick back above here. And pretty much, like I said, it goes without saying, if we can confirm closure above this major price ceiling here, uh, maybe even the moving averages, but... Uh, 
theoretically above this price ceiling, that would be an opportunity to buy in with the expectations that we're going to be officially breaking out of the moving or of the bull flag formation here of the downtrend. This yellow resistance has been since November of 2023, just naturally, you know, re uh, rejecting XRP's price every time we come back up to it. And here we are again trying to do that. And we yet again got rejected. So ideally, it's going to be one of two ways. We do have a short currently opened here on XRP and there's a good chance we're going to kind of skew lower here. It's not just going to take, like I said, the elevator straight down. It's typically going to see some sort of escalator pattern down here, maybe float around a little bit, maybe head back up. You can see typically it's not always just straight down. It doesn't just dump like this. Sometimes it does take a bit of consolidation before we see any sort of subtle uh, continued drops to the downside here. So allow the markets to continue to you know consolidate here. But um, obviously, it goes without saying, if we confirm closure above resistance, that's when we can buy in and switch to a long position. But we still have that short open on XRP, and that's the main focus for XRP's chart. Now, moving forward and looking at other altcoins like Solana, this kind of also goes with the patterns that we are talking about here. We've been watching this uptrend for a long time. On Solana, since you guys recommended me to start tracking Solana here. And you can see we rejected off top price ceiling, fell lower, hitting it again, and now we're falling yet again here. We kind of assumed. So the first thing we had was a bull flag breakout here. Once we confirmed closure above that, that was an opportunity to long to the upside here. It was a very easy, it was like a 30 or even 40% rally to the upside here. If we take a price range and we open it, you can see it was a 27%, excuse me, break to the upside here, which is absolutely nuts. But if we take it from where we rejected off bottom, that's about a 54% rally, which is insane. But that opportunity to buy in was right at confirmation here. And then we fell uh, or flew to the upside here. We even drew a symmetrical triangle. That was the second opportunity to buy in with confirmation to the upside here. And we anticipated rejection off the price ceiling. And then we're starting to dip lower, which is also forming now what appears to be some sort of double top. And that was a little wonky. So you had multiple opportunities to catch the wave up. And now we're switching course and trying to catch the wave down. And you can see when we rejected off this support and theoretically when we fell below the yellow resistance, that was the opportunity with the expectation of a correction to the downside. And that's what we're on right now. We're expecting to retest moving average probably closer to about 88 or even maybe even 90 on the uh, moving average here on the daily chart. And we have entered this short. Now, there is going to be times where we head up. That's just how markets move. It's natural. We're not going to take the elevator down. So expect to see some sort of turbulence some sort of up and down movement here, but long term, a hold to, to, to the downside, a short, is kind of where we're floating at right now. We rejected this uptrend here. It doesn't seem like we're using it anymore. So the expectation is a double top with correction back to at least support here. And then we'll see what exactly is going to happen after that. Now, obviously, we take advantage of the XRP trades as well as the Solana trades on BidFi, which is the number one cryptocurrency leveraging exchange that I like to use here on the channel. BidFi lets you buy long, sell short, leverage trade, create stop losses, take profit. It's everything you'd want on an exchange is offered on BidFi, which is incredible here. Like I was saying before, beyond the uh, $10,000 USDT prize pool, they have a welcome rewards bonus as well as a demo trading account. So you can sign up and earn over 2,000 in free cryptocurrency rewards by clicking new user and advanced tasks, which is super simple and super easy, as well as the, um, there's another one, but it logged me out, so oh well. But then uh, moving forward here, they even have a demo account, which gives you $50,000 in Monopoly money to test your skills completely free. Get familiar with the platform. They have some of your favorite cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin, Doge, Ethereum, Litecoin, Solana, XRP, to practice your trades on. And then when you're ready, you can switch over to the live account and trade around with real cryptocurrency. Um, and test your skills if that's what you want to do. But uh, that's pretty much it for bid fight. So definitely make sure to check it out. Link down in the description below. And lastly, to wrap up today's episode, uh, very oddly enough, we're starting to see cryptos reverse, which is nuts. Now we haven't been able to, I, I've been staying away from Ethereum because of how wonky it is, but this just keeps pumping and pumping and pumping and pumping. It's nuts. It's incredible. We even had a reversal doji right here, which caused correction, but now we're starting to head even higher up. So I don't know how high we're going to go because everything is already in overbought territory here. That's why I've kind of been putting Ethereum on the back burner. But the main focus too, beyond XRP and Solana, is also Bitcoin, which is showing signs of reversal as well. It's following Ethereum and heading back to the upside. But yet again, we're in a sideways channel here. So until we breach either of these, we'll try it again. We failed on this one, which is unfortunate. We got stuck stopped out on this swing back to the upside here, but we're back inside sideways channel. So yet again, same theory applies. Or if we want to play it even more 
uh, conservative. We're going to move it like this. Now, if we see the price break us through price ceiling up top here, we'll buy in and long. We break through the floor here, we'll buy in and short. But otherwise, we've been doing nothing that references uh, a buy-in opportunity here. I even think maybe, no, there's no such downtrend. I don't like it. Sideways channel. We have a price floor and a price ceiling. You guys know what to do. We break through top, buy in and long. We break through bottom, buy in and short, and it's that simple. Lastly, the S&P 500, um, as you guys can clearly tell, heading up even higher. And I just think moving forward through this week and next week, we're just going to continue to pump. It's pretty nuts. But Close we get to the election, the higher we're going to be moving to. So absolutely incredible. But with that being said, smash the like button, turn up, post notifications, subscribe, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace. <laughs>